Hi, the not so terribly amazing Dr. B here. I'm not trying to hypnotize you today, but I am going to blow your mind. I know some of you think I have a big head. Well, let's see what we think about that after this. I want you to stare at the center of this wheel here. Just keep your eyes focused right there at the center for about, about a minute, okay? Don't look away. Don't look at me. Don't look away from the screen. Just keep your eyes focused on that silver knob in the middle, watching those circles spiraling inward and inward. Maybe you want to imagine that you're traveling through a tunnel. Okay, just keep watching that. Keep watching those circles going inward. Don't look away. Don't look away. If you look away, all will be ruined. I'm not trying to hypnotize you, just keep your eyes focused on the center. Now let me describe to you a little bit what's going on here, but don't look away. As you watch that, your brain gets accustomed to that motion. Your brain, like every brain, is kind of a lazy thing. It's got a lot to do, you have to cut it some slack. It's computing that motion and it doesn't change. So it gets kind of familiar with it, and it moves on to do other things, putting it sort of in an autopilot. Okay, just keep watching that. Now in a moment, I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to have you stare at my nose for about five or ten seconds. And something very strange is going to happen. You're going to be experiencing something called a motion after effect. Now as I said, your brain got used to the inward looking motion and it went on to compute other things but it's about to be jarred back into reality so here we go on the count of three look at my nose one two three I can hear you laughing what are you laughing at Dr. B does have a big head doesn't he what just happened there like I said, you experienced a motion after, after effect. Your brain got accustomed to generating that inward motion and it went into doing other, on to do other things. Okay? When you looked at my stable head, it got jarred back into reality and it overcompensated by doing the opposite. And it probably looked like my head was throbbing wildly. Okay? We see these kinds of effects in lots of other places where we have repetitive motion like this. Uh, a lot of news channels have that crawler going across the screen giving you some a line of, of news. If you watch that for a while you start to see that repetitive motion scrolling across your screen and then you look away, look out the window or something and it looks like everything's kind of flowing in the opposite direction. A, a more pleasant, more natural kind of example of this is uh, a waterfall. Next time you're out hiking and you come across a waterfall, sit down for a minute and stare at one place in that waterfall. Look at a rock or something right in the middle of the waterfall and let your eyes just follow that motion while looking steadily at that rock. And you'll get a, your brain will start to compute that steady motion. And then when you look away at something, sta something else, stable, another rock perhaps, you'll, you'll see a motion after image in the opposite direction. And it will suddenly look like everything's rising up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, learned a little bit something about how your visual system works, and you discovered that, yes, indeed, the not-so-terrible Dr. B does indeed have a big head. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.